many of you are losing space in your machine shop floor just because you're growing or you need to move into a bigger building, but it's not available. You know what, let me get to the point because I got Suzette here with me today. And if you're looking at this machine and you see your typical horizontal turning center, that is not what this is, although it is a turning center. <laughs> Suzette, it looks like the entire horizontal machine has been flipped on its head to help with vertical integration, That's but right. we're still able to do the turning that we necessarily need That's in right. our machine shops with our round parts. Did I kind of sum it up? Where do we need to fill in the gaps? What yeah, did I miss? Yeah, welcome to our Takasawa Taiwan VTL 760, our VTL 760 machine. Uh, and you're exactly right. It is taking a horizontal machine, it is making it vertical, it is saving all that floor space that you're using, it is saving your spindle from spindle sag, uh, it is making it ergonomical to uh, put the parts on the spindle. I mean, think about loading a large part horizontally, bringing it in, where here, I can just simply place it right on that chuck. I think about that the moment I walked up to this machine. Right after the vertical <laughs> integration, I thought, oh, my lower back, yeah. I don't even want to put things into the, but looking at this, I mean, really, and joking aside, I think yeah. about the size of the pieces that That's I right. would have to load in a horizontal way, right. and maybe, just maybe, I'm a thou out in my measurement of That's my right. chuck, what happens to my machine, or That's the right. overall weight when I'm trying to make a cut, and the speed that it takes That's in right. order to have a lower cycle time or a higher precision, the smaller diameter stuff as we get into live tooling. I mean, there are just so many benefits so to many benefits. incorporating this. So many opportunities. And Suzette, with this am I thinking correctly with Takasawa? They are turning, right? They They're all turning. turning all the time. Turning. That is the best part about Takasawa. They are purely a turning company. They're not out there trying to make your best mill and your best HMC. They are here to make turning machines and their integrity means so much to them. Their quality means so much to them. Everything that they can manufacture on this machine, they're doing it themselves. They have a Mitsui Seiki FMS system where they design the FMS system so they can manufacture their own turrets. So they make them larger and they make them wider and they make those curved couplings. They make them oversized. Uh, you know, I have customers crash machines often Oy. and they'll give me a call and they'll say, hey, how do I realign this? And they'll tell me that they're not even changing their offsets after realigning it because these turrets are so strong. No and that's kidding. what they're built to do. You know, they're manufacturing their own spindles. They're manufacturing their own lamps. Anything that they can do to control the quality of, of their craft is what they're doing every day. Integrity, right? It's yeah, the integrity it's that matters with, with these the guys. integrity of their machine tool, 100%. You know, I think we could, if we chose to, go into the details of turning centers in general, but I think it's a waste of time, honestly. And yeah. and when we look at this, we understand already where turning comes into play in That's our right. world of horizontal machining and That's vertical right. machining, right. automation. I would think that we could put a robot or a cobot on this as well, and we yeah, can absolutely. automate if we wanted to. It really is just about floor space and yes. weight and yes. being able to have the same capabilities of turning centers, but That's flipped right. in a different direction, which is really helpful. Now, because you're the expert, and I'm really just excited, which is why I'm talking so much, <laughs> but you're the expert. Does this also come into play where we think about the benefits of horizontal milling with the flush of the chips, with the coolant going yes. down, the finish, the longer tool life? Yes. All that comes into play here too? Yeah, one of the one of the main things customers will ask is, how, what are they doing with their chip control? How is How are the chips being controlled in this machine? And I said, we're turning. We're turning. We're leaving a gap there at the bottom sometimes to let chips blow. We have coolant going just the same. We have um, bed flush all throughout, hard plumbed in here, making sure that we're giving you a strong flush into that hole into the casting. I mean, everything. Chips fall down. They're falling straight down into a magic hole down there and into the back of the machine, you know, where it's easy to control. I mean, that's, that's a part of the beauty of it. Talk about clamping. Here, you know, sometimes when you have a machine, a horizontal lathe, that you're putting in those large parts, that it takes a lot of clamping pressure to hold. You don't need that here. We're letting gravity do the work for us. And that's, that's where we are bringing a lot of manufacturing today. You know, gravity has stopped me from dunking my entire life in a basketball game, but I like it here. I'm not going to be mad at gravity for that. 
I'm looking at the software and I see the FANUC system, which everyone right. is familiar with. Right. So I just want to touch on it real quickly yep. for someone who is just getting involved with this machine and just getting involved with sure. you. And someone goes, I want the service and support yes. of JTEC. I yes. believe in the product yes. and the company. This is also a familiar interface as well. That's it's not right. going to be difficult to learn once it's on the shop floor. Am I correct there? That's right. It's a FANUC OITF bus system. Uh, FANUC and Takasawa go hand in hand together. They even own quite a bit of shares of the company. Uh, so we will not only have a fantastic system for software, smart work manager systems, but we'll have FANUC drives, FANUC motors. Everything in this machine is FANUC derivative. I'm impressed. Yeah. Uh, Suzette, I'm truly impressed, not just with the machine, I'm impressed with you oh, as well. So you. I only have one more question, because I know how busy you are, and John needs you all the time, <laughs> right? So one more question. What are some of the other advantages of this machine? As I'm giving you the floor to showcase to the audience what else is going on. Yeah, you know, we have put together so many projects uh, in the last few years automating BTLs. Um, we are doing OP10, OP20 projects with customers where we're taking a right-hand version of the machine, which is what we have here, and a left-hand version of the machine and placing it right next to it where the door opens to the left and the spindle is right here on the right. So you can easily take a part and you can flip it from one side to the other. Uh, and we're using robots to automate those cells, conveyor systems with it. So this isn't something that, um, that is new, but this is something where we're fully taking advantage of automation at hand with this vertical integrated turning and making things happen, making a lot of production parts. I like that making things happen and I like that you brought that up. Thank you Suzette for doing that You're because welcome. the whole world, at least in yeah. our industry, we have to embrace automation, yes. don't we? Yes, and the, and the easier that we can adapt it in our shops like That's you've right. just described, I mean, we, we don't want to spend months or six months or even a year trying to incorporate it. We need it right away, don't we? It used to be just a conversation of, oh, automation, maybe. Maybe it's something that we can look at, maybe something in the future. How do you even do that? And now it's not an option anymore. You know, companies are saying we need to automate. Every single one of these machines is coming ready to automate. Uh, you know, whether it's the FANUC QSSR system that you're putting on these machines, us bringing these machines in stock with auto door on them, uh, fast Ethernet IP, all the different options so customers are always ready to go and they don't have to wait for the factory to make changes. We know what has to happen to make manufacturing uh, strong and profitable for our customers. And so we're trying to utilize those moments now at the factory to make the small, quick, easy financial decisions so customers don't have to do them later. Thank you for expressing that. Thank you for being exactly who you are. Yeah, thank thank you. you for conveying that message thank to you. our audience. I know that this is going to help so many people. We appreciate you being a part of MTD. And for thank sure. you for being here, thank Suzette. You, so you are much. incredible.